Welcome to another Father Son Podcast starring Forrest Dense and me, the caveman. What's going on, man? I'm glad you got the headset on. Maybe you can actually hear oh, yourself talk. God. Blew your ears up, didn't I? Yeah. Did you do that on purpose? I did do that on purpose because you did it to me so many times. You're mean. <clears throat> I probably blew up everyone else's uh, audio on uh, that's listening to this podcast, too. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. <laughs> What's going on, Dan? Not much. Got Venom. We can watch Venom tonight. Yeah, and you made popcorn. It's mm-hmm. really good. I had good. a couple, and they're, like, perfect. Yeah, me too. Minute, 38 seconds. That's the magic mm-hmm. number. I took it out when I just the popping stop. so. Minute mm-hmm. 38 is perfect for that popcorn. Yeah. Um, Man, it's been a long day. I'm going to make this one quick. I'm, I was going to talk about that last quote we got, but we will do it tomorrow. Oh, I forgot to wrap that present right there for mom. The one I'm pointing at. Don't say what it is, but yeah. Or maybe not that one. Maybe the one underneath. Yeah, that one. Um, I still I got, I missed a couple, but I wrapped everything else. It's been a really long day. That's, my, why, you're, that's why we're doing this so late. Uh-huh. My day started at 4 o'clock this morning. <laughs> Yeah. I may have to go back in at 4 o'clock tomorrow. Have another long day. Yeah, maybe up in a couple hours. Oy. Hopefully, Mr. Joe is so drunk that he cannot wake up <laughs> to call me. Huh. Why are you laughing so much? <laughs> That's the <laughs> truth. I'm really hoping he's plastered right now and, like, he just started drinking and about to fall down drunk he was they were out drinking last night too partying hard for christmas yeah so you don't have to go into work tomorrow <laughs> oh my god i could use a day off because i gotta work monday all day too and i guess um it looks like we'll be working late monday because we're so far behind so that stinks yeah i really stinks i might have to text you so pay attention to your phone about 3 30 4 o'clock okay because um if i have to work late we're gonna be in a super super rush so i'm gonna need you to pack up the presents for, well, I have them all set, so we can just bring them down and put them in a bag or something so we're ready to go to uh, Aunt Arlene's. Wait, Christmas Eve is in two days. That's crazy. Christmas Eve is Monday. That's why I just spent all night wrapping presents. Yeah. And getting presents. <laughs> Stinks. Yeah. But, you know, that's Christmas. We had a good... Uh, what were you going to say? I said that's Christmas. That's I mean, like you get really busy, but... I mean, in the end, it's worth it because although it's a hassle to wrap all these gifts and... You know, some of them are okay, some of them aren't okay, you know, but giving gifts to people, man, it makes my day. Going out and buying the gifts, I like that. I like to make people feel good about getting gifts. I love to give gifts. <laughs> I like to get gifts, but I love to give gifts. And mm-hmm. I don't like to get gifts from everybody, just very certain people. Mm-hmm. You know, I like to get gifts from people that I care about. Other than that, like, if you're not, like, uh, really tight with me, I don't need no gifts. That gift Coach Matt got me was amazing. That was one of my favorite pictures of me. Probably one of my top three favorite pictures. Mm-hmm. And Coach Matt got a frame for me. It looks great. I can't. I love that picture so much. Yeah. That's part of our great morning, kind of. Mm-hmm. The gym holiday party was fun. Yeah. I yeah. got Coach Matt's gift. I ordered Coach Matt's gift. <laughs> you had to give him a piece of paper. <laughs> I did have to give him a piece of paper. I ordered his gift at the... Um, I was on my phone, and I ordered it. At the Christmas party, because I talked to um, his wife, Miss <laughs> um, Jen, and I, uh, uh, I think her name's Jennifer, Isn't right, Jennifer? Miss Jess? Miss Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. I messed up Coach Matt's wife's name. I am the worst. I'm the absolute worst person on this planet. I'm sorry. I've been awake a long, long time. I was thinking of... Mr. Dub's girlfriend. I don't know why. Instead of Miss... Miss Oy vey. I know. I know. It's not even his girlfriend anymore. His ex-girlfriend. But you know the deal. Girls are hard to keep track of. I just keep <laughs> track of the guys I train with. If she trained, I would remember her name. I guarantee it. Right? But I don't yeah. see her much. I just hear about her and I see her on Facebook. And, and that's how I know her. So it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sorry. I apologize. I, I forgot your name. Yeah. So happy holidays, I guess. Yeah, happy holidays to the Flores family. Um, I might actually happy holidays to everybody who's listening. Yeah, happy holidays to everyone that's listening. But we're gonna do a special Christmas special on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, so we can wait for that. And I'm gonna try and do a caveman's corner on Christmas. I'm gonna call Ray. 
Ray, uh, Mr. Ray broke up with his girlfriend, Chard. No days off. No days off for Mr. Ray, huh? No. No days off. <laughs> Mr. Ray's got a government job. He's probably out. He's off for the next two weeks. Oh. He's just not with Miss Chard, which is sad, man. It's, it's tough to be alone. I'm actually thinking about inviting him over for Christmas Day. Him okay. and his son. I don't know. We'll see what happens. All right. Ray, if you're listening, man, we love you. If you need anything, dude, we're always here for you. Except for Forrest. <laughs> Not really. He's here for you, too. Yeah. <clears throat> for uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, what were you about to say? I interrupted you. I think you're about to talk about the holiday party. I don't remember. Lost it. You lost it? Lost the thought. You never even got really punched in the head a lot. I'm the one that's supposed to lose it. I even remember what you were talking about. You are about to go into the holiday party sh- shtick. Yeah. Yeah. Just made it quick. Little fake. Just made it quick. <laughs> I want to m- watch Venom. Oh, okay. As so, quick as possible. <laughs> all right. Well, then I'll get right to it. We had our holiday party today at, at the gym. It was amazing. Um, you kind of ahead. already talked about it. Yeah, Coach Matt got me a great gift. But on top of that great gift, I have the gift of being able to work with every one of those kids in that program. Whether you're a problem kid or a great kid or the best kid in the world or the worst kid in the world, I appreciate the uh, opportunity to work with each and every one of the students that I have in my class. I love them all like they're my family. Yeah. And that's the God's honest truth. Um, I don't think there's one kid that I would want to replace on my team. And to be honest... um. I really, really enjoy working with the kids. They're, um, there's something really special about working with kids and watching them grow into be young adults. And the growth I see in Dakota and Crouton was amazing. Maya, you know, watching you grow up in the program, watching these other kids grow up in the program, watching Nishan grow up even though he's not in the program right now. Nishan? Yeah, Nishan. I miss that kid. Dude, Nishan? he's great. Um... Hip circles. Hip circles. Yeah, dude, the hip circles were all this thing. I love the, um, what's her name? Ah, oh, Jesus. I can't even remember everyone's name. There have been so many kids in and out of the program that have touched my life. And hopefully I touch every one of their lives, you know. That's what the goal is, to make it a family program and teach them some effective martial arts techniques. Yeah. Right? It's important to defend yourself these days. It is. It's important not only to defend yourself, to know what's going to get you in trouble, what's not going to get you in trouble, and a realistic view of what a fight really is, right? And then on top of that, I try and give them life lessons. Why are you laughing at me, man? What you just said is like the opposite of what the kids were saying at the holiday party today when you were teaching chokes. Why? What were they saying? Remember they were like, put them to sleep and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Um, We talk about chokes today in class because... Chokes are a vital part of jiu-jitsu. I mean, it's one of the major weapons that you can use. Rear naked choke is probably the most finished technique ever in jiu-jitsu. And it's not okay to choke kids in school. No. (laughs) (laughs) Because it's worse than punching them. Even though, like, uh, a blood choke is very safe, as long as you know to let go... When you put your opponent... I'm sorry, I burped a little bit. When you put your opponent to sleep, (laughs) you know it's okay... Um, that they're not, excuse me, man, this pop is really powerful. <laughs> um, you know, if you put them to sleep, let's stop laughing at me, man. It's not, it's not okay. Yeah. So, it, you know, if you put a kid to sleep, it's not, not, if you put a kid to sleep, it's really bad. But if you put an adult to sleep, it's not that big of a deal. I see people fall asleep all the time. And as long as you let go immediately, it's not that big of a deal. You can escape the situation if you need to. But so, for the untrained, if you could choke someone too much, you could, you could literally kill them, mm-hmm. right? If so all the you, blood stops flowing, like, they're dead. Yeah, and if you hold it too long, you can do brain damage. It, and it's very possible to do that. And, um, you know, being trained and knowing when someone's about to pass out or when they actually pass out and when to let go, if you know that... Wouldn't it be pretty easy to know when they pass out because they would just kind of go limp? Yeah, um, the thing about that is sometimes you don't really know. Sometimes they're still fighting you even though they're unconscious. That's true. And then, but like, wouldn't they be... After a minute or two when they start twitching around, not a minute or two, after, like, 10, 15 seconds, you know they're out. 
And uh, the only time you see people hold it is in a uh, MMA contest or a jiu-jitsu match when people know that they um, they want to win more than they don't want to hurt their opponent. Because when you both sign up for this contest, you know that you're both trained, you're both skilled, and you both know the risks, yep, right? You're taking a risk. <clears throat> but in a street fight, if someone's trying to kill you or hurt you really bad, if you choke them out, you choke them out, whatever. You know, they're trying to give you a concussion and hurt your brain. Even worse, right? If someone's trying to punch you, I think an appropriate response is to choke them. But it's not okay in school because you will get in trouble. And the legal system and the way the world looks at chokes right now is not a good thing. Because um, I don't want to say it wrong. I can't remember the guy's name that got choked out by the police. Do you remember? Nope. Eric Garner. Eric Garner got choked out by the police and he ended up dying. So chokeholds have become a very taboo subject because the police officer that choked him, um, I don't know if he was trained or not. Probably not because it looked like the mean choke. So if he was trained, he really gave him the mean choke, the one where you put the um, bone into the esophagus and you squeeze him. I showed Mr. Andrew the difference between the blood choke and uh, uh, the real choke when you put it across the neck. And uh, he's like, wow. But that guy died from asthma. He didn't really die from the choke. <laughs> but he died because officers choked him out and handcuffed him and he ended up dying because he was on his face. He couldn't breathe. I hate when people freak out when it's like not even when they died from the choke. It's Yeah, but the guy died, man. He died for selling loose cigarettes and that's a problem. Loose? Wait, what? So He's he just sold single... C- single cigarettes. That's what he was selling. And I'm Who not would sure exactly. Buy that? <laughs> I don't know. Some weirdos, man. I'm not sure exactly the story, whether it's true that he was even selling cigarettes that they're not. There's been some dispute whether he was actually selling those or not. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? You don't know the situation unless you were there for the whole thing, you know? Yeah. So I will not uh, cast any dispersions on the police because I know how hard the police work. And I totally respect the police. There's some bad policemen, but there's bad people everywhere, you know? For every 100 officers, you're going to have one officer that's an asshole. Oh, that's mom calling. Uh, where's my phone? I'm going to turn it down a little bit so uh, we call her right back. I'll message her that we're doing podcasts. So she's going to get mad. I messaged her, I'll call back. <laughs> <clears throat> so she, at least she knows that we saw it this time. Yeah. Because I did a podcast the other day and I didn't see it ring. I had a volume turned down. And, yeah. And... Uh, she was a little bit upset. I would be too because she was worried that we were, you mm-hmm. know, not safe or whatever. But we're safe. We're definitely safe. Yes. All right. So, um, yeah, we got off topic on the choke thing, but whatever. The holiday party was awesome. Um, everyone came in. It was one class. It's so crazy when we have one class, right? Oh, my God. It was ridiculous. Little kids flying everywhere, like older kids doing random stuff. It was terrible. You know what the terrible. good thing is, though? Now the parents can see why we split the classes up, right? <laughs> yep. Yeah, so it's very vital that we have a split class and that your kids are in the appropriate age group because it's very easy for the small children to get hit. Dude, you pegged Aurora in the head so hard today. It wasn't hard. It was hard, dude. I could throw it a lot harder. I know you could throw it a lot harder, but you pinned her square nose, snapped her head back. But, dude... She is so tough. I didn't mean to. I know you didn't mean to. Accidental. I am giving her props right now, not you negativity, right? You threw that ball. It smacked her right in the face. She blinked. She was ready to throw the ball right back at you, dude. I was like, you're still in. That was awesome. Remember when I threw it on top of the fridge today? Yeah, that was pretty bad. Miss Kate probably wants to pour coffee down your shirt. (laughs) I'm just kidding. Miss Kate wouldn't do that. Maybe she would. I doubt it, but she might. <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, the holiday party was great. Everyone, had, I don't know if everyone had a good time because Elliot tackled a couple of people and choked them a little bit hard. But, you know, he's a tough kid and he likes to uh, go out and wrestle. And that's what he does. So, like, it's good to see him do that. It's tough because he's getting after the girls a little bit. But the girls beat him up too, man, you know? Like, girls are tough there. I got to roll Lucy's dad today, finally. I've been waiting to roll with him for a long time. That was super awesome. Um, I got amazing gifts. I've got a winning lottery ticket from Austin. 
a I winning got, lottery? What, yeah. How much did you win? Two bucks. Oh. That's just two bucks. But two bucks is two bucks, man. Yeah. I'll take it. And I scratched it Free off. Two bucks. And I was excited that I won two dollars. It was amazing. And uh I got a bunch of other stuff. I got a uh, gift certificate for you to check out some ninja thing from uh, Aurora and Emmett's mom. Even though you pegged Aurora in the face with a ball. I so didn't mean stuff. to. I got some essential oils for Miss Care or Miss Cares for for mom um, from uh, uh, Aurora's mom as well, so she can get the lavender oil she's been talking about on Facebook. <laughs> oh man, <sighs> and um, I got a like Tim Hortons gift card. I got that. Uh, thing from Miss um Oh Jesus. Miss Miss Hoffman. Yeah. I was like trying to think of her last name. I know her first name, but Miss Hoffman gave me that great painting, coach or not painting, but that the was great the poster. Thing, yeah, right? the, the, the wolf jiu-jitsu thing, thing with the wolf. Yeah, that was, that was awesome. Aw- that's cool. Uh, that's I got the um the poster myself, which is amazing because I'm an ugly dude. <laughs> and uh it didn't crack the glass or anything, dude, put my picture in there. So that's a good thing. Um if I forget something that you gave me, I apologize. I got a lot of stuff. and uh, Oh, the Batars gave you chocolate, and you tried oh, to make it, me eat it, but I wouldn't. Cause. Yeah, I'm trying not to get too fat right now because I've not been eating so good. And uh, actually, my weight's are a little bit up more than I want to be. Even though I still have a little bit of abs, my weight is way up. So my body fat must be up a little bit. So uh, today, I just had... <clears throat> I had a couple of cupcakes and a couple of those. Oh, man, I just want to say those Oreo. Uh, those red velvet Oreos red are velvet amazing. Ore- yes. Oh, my God. They're so good. <laughs> Woo! I ate like five or six of those things today, man. I ate a lot of them. Yeah. They- you did eat a lot. You ate like two rows. Not two <laughs> rows. One entire row was gone by the time you brought it into the house. Dude, I had like six cookies. That's like four Liar. rows you ate. <laughs> no, I really only had like six. Almost all the middle row was gone by the time you brought it into the house. That's more than one row. What? <laughs> That's more than one row. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'm, I apologize for yawning and I'm a little bit all over the place. I'm exhausted. Yeah. It's 11.50. Let's start calls. Oh, no uh, death camp tomorrow. I just found out. So I'll probably go. It's Christmas? No, not Christmas. I'm mean, think about it. Uh, McBrides are uh, Muslim, so they're not they're not celebrating Christmas. Mm-hmm. But I'm pretty sure they're doing a wrestling thing tomorrow <laughs> for the girls, the yeah. McBride girls who are amazing at wrestling. Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I'll probably go lift during the day, but uh, I gotta take Lala out shopping in the morning mm-hmm. if I get out of work on time. But I should. I shouldn't. Hopefully Joe doesn't call, or maybe I might just sleep through it. I don't know. We'll see. But if he calls, I'm gonna go to work. I'll work till um, I'll work till like seven forty-five, and then I'll run over and take her out shopping, and then I'll come back home, maybe, or maybe I'll go to the gym first. It just depends on what time we get done shopping. I don't know where Lala's got to go. But we'll find out, and um, then we'll come back and we'll do whatever we gotta do all day. Yep. I forget. We got to do something tomorrow, but I don't, do you, what are we supposed to do tomorrow? I have no clue what you're thinking of. I don't know. I thought we, I don't know. I think we're supposed to do something tomorrow. Yeah, we'll remember sometime. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about work. I don't know. Yeah. All Maybe. right, let's get out of here, man. Mom's waiting for us to call back. It's almost midnight. I might have to be up in four hours. We still got a movie to watch. Venom. You're going to fall asleep. I'm going to fall asleep. We'll watch it again tomorrow. Yeah. I can watch it again tomorrow. It's not supposed to be that good, actually. Yeah. I heard the same thing. I hope it's not true. No. Maybe uh, Deadpool's in there. (laughs) There's a a PG-13 Deadpool now. Yeah. My friend watched it, and he said it was just like a dumbed-down version of Deadpool 2. Yeah. Maybe it's just censored. It is. They cut out a lot. There's a lot of stuff they had to cut out, because it's... (laughs) Me and mom saw it was pretty bad, dude. It was not something you should probably watch, but maybe I'll rent it while mom's out of town for you. <laughs> Wait, did I say that on the mic? Yeah. I think I got Easter egged by Caveman. I do that to all the guests. Like, I pretend like the podcast is over and I take the headphones off, and then we just talk like this, like normal, and they don't know that the, it's still recording. <laughs> so then I get them. That's, I do that in Caveman's Corner all the time. I always I get the good Easter eggs. Oh, okay. You're looking at me like I don't know what I'm 
talking about? You didn't know what I was talking about. How did you Easter egg me? Like, <laughs> I was making a joke for the people that actually listen to K Man's Corner. I'm beyond confused now. <laughs> me too. I don't know what I'm even talking about anymore. <laughs> So that means we should get off the podcast For before sure. we say something horrible. It's 20 minutes long, dude. It's supposed to be like five minutes. Yeah. Stop talking. You were the <laughs> one that went into chokes for like... 10 minutes. Yeah, I know, yeah. dude. I get off track. As soon as we start talking about jujitsu, dude, I'm, I'm a lost cause. And I got the role with uh, Lucy's dad. Yeah. I know I already said that, but it was fun. Yeah. I finally got to roll them. And I got to choke them and arm bar them and all kinds of good stuff. And Lucy's really tough, too. All right, let's get out here. I love you, man. Out of here. Love you, too. All right, dude, you're the best. I was trying to Easter egg you. <laughs> All right, we're really out. I was listening for the click. <laughs> <laughs>